Hey, Shalom. 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 Bear with us. Checking the feed. All right, let me check the feed. Make sure everything is sound. All right, we in there. Hey, Shalom. GMS Charlotte. Back at you with another live lesson through the Holy Spirit. The Rakak Kodash. All right. And um, before we get started with this live lesson, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. And double salutations to all you Akim out there laboring in the house of David. The elect that's pushing this word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers, and all you yes, sincere believers right. out there, man. All right. So we're gonna get into this thing. It's a lot, it's a, it's many things that are happening. This is news and prophecy. Okay, you know, we're in the time. Look, we with mid mid-December, right? You know, mm -hmm. brothers had uh brothers were saying a little quote at camp, you know, 2023. Let's see, you know, yeah, let's see what's gonna happen, mm -hmm. you know. Everybody's anticipating, you know, uh, major changes. Let me get the brother in there. Is the brother Kornawaf in there? There you go. Salakia. Got you in there, brother. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a lot of heavy shit that's happening, man. So <laughs> as prophets of Yahweh Shimei Awashai, you know, we got to continue to remain on that watchtower, man. Uh, before we get into the videos, start with Habakkuk 2. Start off with that. Start at the top. I want shot. Hmm. And y'all brothers can chime in or whatever, you know. You went from the top? Yeah, start from the top, Baba Pasha. <clears throat> uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me. Right. And the, and the, and the prophets, the prophets of Yahweh by Shema Bashai were continuously watching. Okay. The Lord told us to watch for the tokens, the signs, all the things that determine his second coming. Okay. At the end of it all, what are we waiting on? We waiting, we're hastening the day of Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Bah Shimah was shot. Lord willing, we part of the elect. All right. Go ahead, out. <clears throat> and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Verse two. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. That he may run that readeth it right go ahead and speak tazma kind because that uh the vision <clears throat> that that he's speaking on is hey these these visions and prophecies that we're, we're seeing today man lining up with the motb lining mm -hmm. up with jaconian measures as far as esau edom setting the stage with a lot of these anti-sim things that he's lining up he's setting a stage for this persecution and also clearing the way and the path for his nwo man that's it that's it can i add on to what you said which was so heavy we're not going to go into it for YouTube purposes, right? But let mm -hmm. me share the screen with y'all. Hold on. I just want to add on to what Tazamak just said. Okay, bear with me. My, my computer's moving a little slow. All right. Let me see if this pulls up. Okay, so this was uh this came out two days ago. It says combating anti-sim. All right, mm -hmm. and it's going to the hate crime laws as Tazamak was going into. And we would get into this video, but just using wisdom. All right, it's coming at that point in time where you're not even you're not even able to speak anything against the 48ers, man. You know, right? Channels getting clipped, striked. It just happened to me. I created a whole new channel, my GMS upon precepts four, and uh they gave me a strike for uh, going in on uh, uh on the 48ers, small hats. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Yep. But that's exactly what you said, man. The narrative is being set up, the you know, the persecution upon the, the saints of the Lord, the true believers in Yahweh Bashim al Shai, because ultimately this word is worldwide right now, man. You know? So anyway, read on Ak Salakia. Just wanted to make that point. God. Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. You see that? Mm -hmm. The vision has been set for an appointed time, a specific time. And it said at the end, it shall speak. Okay. what well, The prophecies are speaking right now. Yep. Right now. Yep. All right. Louder and louder each day, each week. 
You know? Mm-hmm. Kind. Read it again. Oh, Salaki, go ahead. Kind. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 42. Isaiah 42 and verse 9. And it says, Isaiah 42 and 9. It said, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Beautiful. And hey, as as it said, man, before these prophecies start to spring forth, the men of the Lord has been on the highways and hedges for years warning you what this devil is about to do, man. Our apostles, apostles to heart, like we always say, apostles to heart had it right from the jump. He had right. it right. The, the, the MOTB, the, the Karagma, the CHI uh, hip, that's the MOTB, man. He had it right from the jump, man. And before these things start to really happening, he always made videos getting into this current prophecy that's about to take place on the whole world as you read in Revelation the third chapter, the 10th verse. The outward temptation is going to take place on the whole world. So when Esau eat them, lining up this, this, these different various uh, draconian laws for speaking on him, he's he's setting a path so he can go ahead and get his his uh, his his MOTB in the forehead and in the hand lined up. The whole system is being set up for for so for a major event, man. Man, that's a spirit. You're right on time, brother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of, kind of, let's, kind of. let's get into the article, you know, because mm-hmm. we got this video here. Um, we're about Elon. It's called Neuralink. Matter of fact, let me just show it before we play it. But um, I did a lesson on it on my GMS upon precepts three, but it's called the the Neuralink nightmare. Elon Elon's brain chip trials are a, to- a total horror show. All right, it was like over fifteen hundred animals that 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 died from having this uh this device put in their bodies. Let's say it like that. You see, so we're gonna play this video. It's it's about eleven minutes. We'll probably play a good chunk of it you know and uh add some spiritual commentary but but before we get that let's get this article that was a spirit okay something major is on his way as we said in this lesson news and prophecy many things are happening jake all right because this kanye west thing brother made a good point this kanye west this distraction that's going on all right while all of this is happening the cbdc is being prepared behind the scenes yeah okay they're slowly, you know, rolling this thing in, you know. So let's read this article in the spirit. And you brothers grab scriptures or whatever you got. But uh, this, this is from the NOQ report. All right. It says the title it reads, it says we are about to witness a major move toward a cashless society. OK, so you've been warned by the prophets of Yahweh by Shema Shai. OK, mm-hmm. when these things come to pass, then you shall know that a true prophet have been among you. All right. So let's get some points out of it. It says, <clears throat> reading on. Okay, I'll make it a little bigger. Bear with me. Okay, so reading on, it says the war on the war on cash has just gone to an entirely new level. When I heard that the European Union was planning to completely ban all cash transactions above ten thousand euros, I had a hard time believing it. There are so many wild rumors flying around on the internet these days. And so I wasn't going to write about it unless I could confirm it. Unfortunately, this particular rumor is quite real. Under the pretext of fighting money laundering and terrorist financing, because, you know, Esau always has to have a narrative. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he always yeah. has to have a story. Cyber right? threats and shit. Yeah, cyber threats. You know, banks can get hacked. Yeah. You know, he's doing it. <laughs> he, he, he's behind it all. Right. But it says under the pretext of, of fighting money money laundering and terrorist financing, the European Union will be entirely outlawing outlawing all cash payments greater than ten thousand euros. The following comes from the official website of the Council of the European Union. See, let's read a little bit more. We'll grab some scriptures, or if any brother got a scriptures, go ahead and chime in. Mm-hmm. But it says by limiting cash, so like by limiting. Hey, somebody hold Ezekiel 7 and verse uh, 19, where it talks about how they should cash their uh, gold and silver in the streets. In the streets, yeah. Right? It says, by limiting by limiting cash payments, the, the EU will make it harder for criminals to launder dirty money. And in uh, An EU-wide maximum limit of 10,000 euros is set for cash payments. Member states will have the flexibility to impose a lower maximum limit if they wish. All right? Let's see. It says, but instead of farming, uh, instead of framing, 
But instead of framing it as a major move towards a cashless society, the EU is trying to claim that this is all about fighting terrorists. You see, is it is that not the same narrative? Yeah. Tom Esau is trying to force some 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 underhand legislations and laws. He always, you know, it's always fighting terrorism. You know, that's always been the scape uh, the scapegoat, so to speak. You know, the boogeyman. It's always been the boogeyman in the room. Same thing with the nine eleven whole thing. Yep, right. right. They, they made them the terrorists, but really they was the bullies. Yeah, yep. Weapons of mass destruction. Yep, yep. I got mm-hmm. the Ezekiel seven and nineteen for you. Go ahead. Ezekiel seven and nineteen. <clears throat> they shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Right now, what's heavy about that, brother? Shared some. Uh, he shared an image over there in Venezuela. All right. There was an image on social media where you literally saw the cash in the streets. Like people were throwing yeah. the cash in the streets in the road, burning it. burning it, all that because that shows you the money don't have any uh, it, it doesn't have any more value, right? We don't, and it's the same thing that's gonna go on here. Mm-hmm. These paper that dollars, is, the bag, you know what you say, Yak Salakia? Hey, kind because the scriptures say we're richest profit not in the day of wrath. That's mm-hmm. right. So, that's so right. all of your monetary, your little monetary wealth that you got that you done gained throughout the years, it's not gonna it's not gonna uphold you and upstand and, up, and uh, sustain you. When the Lord brings straight terrorists upon this place, man. That's right. Yeah, that's why the Lord said wisdom and knowledge shall be thy stability. That's right. That's right. I got one for you real quick, bro. Let me finish this, this off real quick. Okay, kind beautiful, kind. Yeah, yeah finish that out. Read it, right. read it from the top again. Right. Right, kind. Ezekiel 7 and 19. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Right. The silver and the gold, is it would be your money today. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. Right. See, your money, your bag, all right, your FRNs is not going to be able to deliver you in the time of the Lord's judgment and wrath. Right? This is what we try to see. People think this is far-fetched. People can't really imagine, you know, not being not being able to go to the bank to purchase things with cash, you know. That all that's going to be cut off. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels. Because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. Yes, yeah, the stumbling block, man. And, and people are going to completely lose it. This is why, as we're entering in the time of, of, of 2023, which was literally weeks away, mm-hmm. right? We're getting ready to see crimes. We're getting ready to see the spirit of the division. All these different things that are plaguing America. We're about to see this stuff escalate. You see? Yeah. Hey, look, you want me to jump down to 25? Yeah, jump down to verse 25. Say, yeah, jump down to Ezekiel 7 and 25. It says, destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Right, see, destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, but there should be none. This is why we're trying to tell you, Jakes, to come out of the world, to come out of Babylon, man. Meaning to repent mm-hmm. and, to, and to detach yourself spiritually from this place. All right? Because yeah. if you don't, you're gonna be, you're gonna uh, uh you're gonna be thrust through. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be one uh you basically you're gonna fall out here in the streets, man. All right. Mm-hmm. When this shit this shit is gonna overtake you, Jake, if you don't come out of the ways of Babylon the Great. <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. You know, you go ahead. I get a precept. Kind of just real brief. This uh Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievousness which they have prescribed. Mm-hmm. Hey, just just going into the uh all the snares. Hey, what you got on the screen right now, man? This is this he's writing these legislations up every week behind the nose of the people We're hitting them with these various distractions with the Kanye West and the Kyrie Irving and various other things. He's distracting the people, but at the same time, he's he's doing these major, he's doing these major psyops that to manipulate the minds of the people, man. Because he's doing right. a lot of psyops out here that these people don't really understand what he's doing, man. All, a lot, all this weather, all this uh, crazy ass weather and shit like that. All, everybody getting sick one week, and everybody straight one week because he's about to really do something. Crown come around uh, year twenty twenty three, and like we said, if you ain't seen that movie Songbird yet, I advise you to watch it, man, because that movie okay. tell you the the system that this devil wants to set up, and and the who I think the who they're talking about Biden is signing this uh. This bill with the WHO an organization, the World Health Organization, will get them all power and authority concerning any uh, type of outbreak. So that's already mm-hmm. showing you what they're coming with. That's exactly off the damn movie, man. Yeah. That's exactly off the movie, man. Giving the white, the blue hats, 
the the the, the freedom to roam in these streets and got them grab but anybody they they say that it can is contagious remember they said that in uh and and what a new york when it, when the shit hit remember the the mayor was saying they was trying to come up with a bill that they can deem anybody they say contagious they can put them in a a, a concentration or re-education center man mm -hmm. same it, it was new york and and it was washington and that's the same that's how you know esau is tacky Washington was up there in Washington was the same place that got hit first with the Crown Royal 99. Then it got hit in New York. And then these are the same two areas where you're trying to hit to say we can uh we can quarantine you without without your rights if we deem you contagious, man. They like right, right. signing bills for that shit, man. Crazy. That's why your head gotta be on the swivel, man. Go ahead. I what you got. I got a precept for the brother Tazamat where he was just speaking on this uh Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore, mm -hmm. rejoice, ye heaven, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. And that's, and that's what you to, see. Yeah, what you was just speaking on, brother. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. But that's and that's what you see. Why? Why Jake's got the head in the goddamn sand. Your enemy is sharpening the sword every day. He's preparing to make some major moves out here, man. Like uh, some real, real major moves. It's not. It's yeah. no coincidence. All these goddamn people is just dropping fucking dead around come you, on. man. When he, come on, man. When, when he really make this move, we are gonna see people dropping fucking dead, man. You gonna see yeah. that shit, and that's gonna really bring fear upon people. Remember what? Remember what BG said. BG said the Crown Royal ninety nine. If that didn't get him, the next one will. These people, yeah. <laughs> this this motherfucker, yeah. he's all psycho, man. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I want to add on something too. Uh, dealing with this article, you know, because hey, the times, the time, times of peace are not nowhere in sight. All right, now check this out because it was you was we were just talking about, you know, these legislations that are being you know uh, passed and right under the table, right, right under the people's nose as all these people are distracted, you know, with all this shit that's going on the folly. But it says Biden executive order a direct threat to the dollar. Let's read this. All right. Mm -hmm. And it gives like a brief detail of this uh, executive order, one four zero six seven. Right? It says because hey, December thirteenth was yesterday, right? Yep. The whole yep. Biden buck or, ordeal. Yep. You know. Yep. So anyway, it says on March 9th, twenty twenty two, President Biden quietly signed executive order one four zero six seven. And there's videos out there of Biden signing all this shit, and he said that he didn't even know what he was signing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm signing here. Come on, man. It says, it says buried inside this order is a sinister provision that could give the government unprecedented control over your money and freedom. Okay? It's all about total control. Okay? It says, in fact, this provision sets the stage for legal government surveillance of all U.S. citizens. Right? I.e. facial recognition. All these cameras out here, that's what they're doing now. Mm -hmm. Esau been setting up the stage, you know, for, for these times. The laws just wasn't getting coming into effect to certain times after. Yes. Like for example, when Obama was in office, you know, he signed all the he's he signed all the orders for the that the uh alphabetical crews. Yep. Right. Right yep. now oh, it didn't come into effect until another president was in office. Yeah. You know, exactly. I mean? it's, it was the same way. All these things getting signed, but you know, the time. You know yep. what I mean? It's just the time. Like we read in Habakkuk, it was, it, it, the prophecies yeah. were set for, for an appointed time. That's right. Right? That's right. So it yeah. says legal government, mm -hmm. legal government surveillance of all U.S. citizens, total control over your bank accounts and purchases. See, that CBDC, all purchases, transactions are all going to be monitored and controlled, man. Yeah. Right? And ability to silence all dissenting voices. Ooh, good. and that's what's going on right now. And the yep. ability to silence all dissenting voices for good, you see, famine of the word, uh, uh, hate speech laws, you know, all these things to silence those, silent those that are speaking out, right? You had something out? I had something right quick to add to that. If I may. Go ahead. Um, you know, because with the government being able to pretty much usurp authority over the existing monetary system. You know, it's it's near, and a lot of people are oblivious to this happening. You recently had with the uh, FTX 
decentralized cryptocurrency, which was like a top prominent company, they just went into bankruptcy. Now, on Yahoo Finance, there was a uh, article posted December 8th that says some central banks reportedly looking to issue a CBDC within 10 years. Now, we know this is a, a far off timetable, but it's going to happen sooner than that. Right. So it says crypto is in the depths of a winter recently spurred by bankruptcy filing from some of the most prominent companies, including exchange FTX and crypto lenders uh, Celsius Network. But these market conditions have only convinced countries to develop central bank digital currencies. So with yep. the collapse of these decentralized currencies that were existing on the marketplace, you know, like your um, FTX, your fucking Bitcoin, you know what I'm saying? All of those various cryptocurrencies that now are being debased and really started to show forth that there's no security really gives a heightened sense of a sense of control for the government to go ahead and step in with a centralized banking solution, you know, right. to offer security. You know what I'm saying? Huh. So they're pretty much they're pretty much cutting off any type of because that was the intent of these decentralized cryptocurrencies, you know, to pretty much offer an alternative to the control of the bankers. Right. And now with the collapse of that, pretty much the bankers are like, look, look what happened. See what happened? You lost billions of dollars. Nobody knows what happened. Come back to us. We we were a centralized banking institution. Right. You can trust us. Right. We have the solution. Right, they have the solution. But like it says, it's total control. And it is it silences you because at that point there's not gonna be any alternative any longer. Exactly. I got a yep. precept. If anybody got something, I got a precept. You got something, Tazama? Oh no, I'm looking for something, bro. Okay, Khan. I'm gonna bring out this precept and I'm gonna finish out the article. That's a good point. Uh uh a beautiful point, I This is I this is Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 4 it says, And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel Lord, and a fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, the Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shah host. So now the Lord is ultimately at the end of the day, this is the Lord operating, operating everything. But he's using the elites on the left hand side to, to squeeze society. Okay. And that's everything with all these legislations being passed. That's exactly what's going on. All right. These these decrees that are being signed are going to strip the rights away from the people. OK, your money and your fine uh, and your uh, and your financial transactions is all going to be watched over and controlled. Okay? <laughs> hey, and, and I just looked something up because he he's so crafty with it. He's about to he's about to make it where Jake's going to submit to this system. I, as I was watching the brother Michael Alla, uh yesterday. This is. Uh, I'm gonna let you. Do you still you still making your point, Capo? No, no. I'm gonna read the rest of the article when you finish. Kind, cause look at the at the you bring that article. Out, I want to bring this article out. How uh, California is trying to get reparations to Jake, and and this is lining up what you brothers is going into. If they once yep. they really get Jake to this, trying to get this reparations, then it's gonna have to be digital. So Jake, you know, Jake's gonna end up uh, submitting to that, taking that free money. Right, right. Can you imagine that? Hey, take this uh, CHIP. If you want to get your payment, you know, mm -hmm. yep. Jake gonna be like shit. Yep. <laughs> yep. Said, well, same same way they tried when they said, uh, "You can't work unless you get the juice." Yeah, exactly. You know, what yep. I mean, they big experiment. That was the first experiment. That was the first rollout. Yep. They know who gonna stand back. They know who gonna be willing. You know, what I mean, that was just a uh, another uh, device, so to speak. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Second Corinthians two and eleven. Yeah, exactly. We ain't yep. ignorant. That's, right. That's, That's right. right. I'm gonna finish this out. All right, so let's read this again. All right, from the top, it says on March on March 9th, 9, on March 9th, two thousand twenty-two, President Biden quietly signed Executive Order one four zero six seven. Buried inside this order is a sinister provision that can give the government unpre unprecedented control over your money and freedom. Mm -hmm. Are you are you listening, Jake? Okay. It says, in fact, this provision sets the stage for legal government surveillance of all U.S. citizens, total control over your bank accounts and purchase purchases. 
that's hell, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. why we read in Isaiah 19 that hey, the Lord was going to put a cruel Lord over these people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. It says, and the ability to silence all dissenting voices for good. Okay. Get rid of the opposition. Mm-hmm. It says, it's no wonder why Fox News recently called this a quote, a deeply troubling development. Okay. Basically, basically, they're telling you that the people are, are, are fucked, right? Mm-hmm. It says still most Americans have never even heard of Executive Order 1467, right? It says this is why today Jim, Jim Records, a world-renowned economist and former advisor to both the CIA and the Pentagon, have just sounded the alarm on this troubling new development. And it goes into it. It's a video out there where he breaks it all down. We're not going to play it. You know, but what you had. Yeah. Hey, this that word. So, you know, just for the edification, dissenting. If you go back to the uh Con. the third the third tier mm-hmm. said, and the ability to sil- to silence all dissenting voices for good. And I looked that word dissenting up, it says holding or expressing opinions that are at variance with those commonly or officially held. Yeah, those that are in power. Mm-hmm. So if your if, if your if your opinions differ to those that are in power. Hey, you're gonna be uh you're gonna be wiped out essentially. Yep, you know God, you set you set me up. Go ahead, up. Con. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse uh verse 21. This is for you, Elder. It says that make a man a offender up for the word and lay a snare for him that reprove in the gate. Yeah, man. You know, you become you become a uh essentially you become a target, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you we and we understand that that's part of this thing, but we're gonna to continue to uh, uh, to blow the trumpet. We're gonna to continue to warn our people of this upcoming uh, destruction, man. The, the the great trial and affliction that's set upon to come upon Jake Jacob's trouble. Mm-hmm. All right, all this all these things uh, essentially tie into Jacob's trouble. I got a quick precept. All mm-hmm. right, we just roll them in the spirit. <clears throat> all right, but this is uh, Matthew. All right, Matthew chapter twenty four, and verse twenty two. And it reads, matter of fact, we'll start at 21, Matthew 24 and 21. Read that Yahweh Shah speaking, it says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. All right. So this, this tribulation that's coming in, in these last days is going to be unprecedented. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be unheard of, man. Yeah. Right? Verse 22, it says, and except those days should be shortened. There should no flesh be saved. And, and look how fast all mm-hmm. these things have came upon us, man. Yeah. Right? We we already we already damn near 2023. Mm-hmm. You know, the Lord has the Lord, matter of fact, let's read on. Except uh Matthew 24 and 22, except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened, man. So the, hey, the spirit of Yahweh by Shema was shy. Is speeding all these things up, these prophecies, these signs, these tokens for for, for the very uh, uh, Alexei. That shows you that what Romans thirteen salvation is nearer than we believe. That's right. It's close. You know? It's close. What you got? Your brother's going. Um, well, I, 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 I want to go ahead. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go you ahead. Go ahead. You, you got, got it. You got it. Uh, what, I just had a precept piggybacking off. You know what the elect out here doing? Because you know we've been uh, we we've been proclaiming. So um spirit jumped on me. This is uh Jeremiah 3 and 12. And this is what you you know, this is what the men of the Lord been doing. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return, thou backsliding Israel, mm-hmm. say of the Lord, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, say of the Lord, and I will not keep my anger forever. Mm. So that's why you got the Lord out here on the highways and byways proclaiming. And that we know that land of North, if I'm not mistaken, that's a represent America, right? Uh, Babylon. Yep. Mm-hmm. So you know that's what you got the uh, the men out here doing, and we've been we've been doing that day in and day out, you know, and before us, our elders and apostles as well. That's right. And that's where that's where it started at. So I'm gonna read it again. It's Jeremiah three and twelve. Go and proclaim these words toward the north, and say, "Return, thou backslide in Israel." Yep. Say of the Lord, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, said the Lord, and I will not keep my anger forever. Yeah. So this is the time that our people are supposed to be in the spirit of repentance, man. Coming back to the Lord, putting off Babylon, the world. 
All right. Mm -hmm. Putting yourself in the uh, in the proper position to serve the Lord, to be pleasing unto the most high. Right. Mm -hmm. So that Making we can be found under, under his mercy. Would you say? Make, making yourself ready. That's mm -hmm. it. I got a precept. Mm -hmm. So like, go ahead. Now you got it, bro. You got it. I, I bring mine behind yours. All right. So rock 18 and uh, so rock 18 and 21 in the Apocrypha or Ecclesiastes chapter 18, verse 21, it says, verse 20, it says, before judgment, examine thyself. Mm -hmm. And in the day of visitation, thou shall find mercy. Mm -hmm. All right. So we are to be in the spirit of examining ourselves and making sure that we're walking, pleasing to the most high. Are we putting up a righteous sacrifice? Mm -hmm. Are we doing what we need to do to be found worthy, acceptable men, as we were going into, uh, uh, that, uh, acceptable men to receive that salvation, right? Mm -hmm. Verse, uh, jumping down, same chapter, Sirach 18 and 24, it says, think upon the wrath that should be at the end, okay? So we're thinking about, we're meditating upon the wrath, we're Jake, we're giving Jake all the uh, all the signs, all the uh, the news. This is what's getting ready to happen, right? So yep. think about Think upon the wrath that should be upon think upon the wrath that should be at the end in the time of vengeance when he shall turn away his face. Okay. And what that means is what grace and mercy is no longer going to be available. That's right. Okay. That's right. When the Lord turns his face, that's it. It's judgment. Right? That's why you, you, you're supposed to enter into these doors of, of grace and mercy right now, man. <laughs> you know? Yep. What you got out. All right. Well, hey, basically kind of going on the same thing you were saying. It says, this is Hosea chapter 5, verse uh, 15. It said, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. So, Jay, <laughs> we already know how our people, they on, they on that CPC time, man. They're going to be bullshit yeah. to, to all hell bugs start coming in, man. And that's when that's they right. really going to understand that they should have really tried to get right with the men of the Lord, man. You got to make yeah. yourself ready, man. You gotta get yep. yourself right with the Lord, because we can clearly see through all the through all these things that's been happening throughout these last few years here in America, shit just keep getting worse and worse, man. And then Jake's still in that mindset of thinking things is gonna go back to the way it was, but it's just getting worse and worse, man. And it ain't getting no better for our people. Absolutely. I'm gonna add on to that before we play that video clip. But like you said, Tazamon, this is from uh trending politics. It says, watch, Biden still has no economic plan. Says he hopes, quote unquote, inflation will go down next year. <laughs> Shit. Right. Let me hey, get Jeremiah 51. There's no healing of Babylon. Let's get that real quick. Okay. Yeah. Man, this dude is oblivious, man. Come on. Right through, bro. <laughs> next year. This shit done, bro. Ain't, shit ain't, no, ain't no next year. 51 and 8. Come I'm right here. Go ahead, Adam. Con. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 8. It says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take bomb for her pain? If so, she may be healed. Right, right. Bomb, bomb is like a healing ointment. Mm -hmm. All right. It said, Take bomb for her pain. If so, she may be healed. Go ahead. And it says, We would have healed Babylon, but if she is not healed, she is not healed, man. Nope. She Babylon is not going to be healed. There's not going to be any type of financial restoration all right for the society yep. it's over man okay and Dang. this is all being strategically done through the spirit of your by shimel was shy in the left hand okay because mm -hmm. these devils what do they need they need chaos they need order out of chaos mm -hmm. yep. right mm -hmm. go ahead it said let us go everyone everyone into his own country it says for her judgment have reached unto heaven and lifted up even to the skies yeah, for our judgment have reached unto heaven, man. This place is about to be rewarded, man. Mm -hmm. For all the filth and degeneracy, the moral decadence, okay, that satanic do as thou will spirit. You see this place is being aired out, uh, uh, dealing with pedophilia, oh. sex trafficking, you know? Mm -hmm. You gonna say something? About yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring it out because uh, I'm going to jump into Nahum. I'm going to jump around in Nahum 3 real quick. Hey, this uh -huh. is uh, Nahum chapter 3. And I started verse four and I'm going to jump down. It says, because the multitudes of the whoredoms of the world favored the harlot, the mistress of witchcraft, as the elder brothers going into, uh, America has been, uh, been put on blast, man. That, what is that? Uh, Bullshit-ass clothing line last week. Uh, Ball is king. That shit got exposed and shit. 
Oh. And showing that she's the this is America, the, the harlot, the world's favorite harlot, is the mistress of witchcraft, man. Is the head That's honcho it. of this wickedness, man. All your Disney and all these fucking goddamn clothing line designers, all this shit go back to idol worship. And it's exactly. that's how you know we're in Babylon and great. And it's because all this shit, like you all, why we all say, this shit that they push out has vibrations on it, which lead to the spiritual demon of Satan, man. And it says that sell of nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft, man. And that's America to a T, man. You got these bitches in Saudi Arabia over there twerking and shit, man. They, yeah. You got, hell, you see it at camp. You got hit bitches from Iran marching in our streets here in Babylon because they get, because them bitches over there don't want to keep their ancient customs, man. That's you yep. drinking, that's you being uh, drunk of philosophies of America, man. Yep. And it says, verse five, it says, behold, I'm against these stuff, said the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face as an elder brother is going to, known for this pedophilia and shit. Only over 400,000 kids get missing yearly in America. And nobody's got them speaking up and asking why. That's showing right. you how fucking wicked this place is, man. Because they selling right. these kids as a commodity behind the scenes with this black market shit, this dark web. This place, America, is wicked, man. And it says, and I want to show them. And I want to say, and you can't talk about none of that. Nope. You know? You can't bring it out. Shows you that this place, is it, it supports wickedness. Go ahead, I. Mm -hmm. And it said, I will show the nations thy nakedness in the kingdoms thy shame man because what, what what uh what, what putin say <laughs> what he say about america bro? <laughs> how you say it careful <laughs> the satanic west the satanic you know west. so this place is being called out on every side man that's why the re the reward of babylon is is due you know mm -hmm. we're we're, we're moving closer every day to the uh the ultimate judgment of babylon the great you know mm -hmm. so anyway you have something else out anybody had anything else yeah, I had a quick precept. Bring it out. Lamb back. Uh, Job 10 and 21. Before I go whence I shall not return, even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death, referencing America. Verse 22. A land of darkness as darkness itself, and of the shadow of death without any order, and where the light is as darkness. And for the longest, you know, pursuant to Isaiah 25 and 7, that veil, you know, was on the minds of the people. Yep. But now that veil is being pulled back and people are actually starting to see America for what it is. You know, a cesspool of wickedness, a nation of degeneracy, a nation that is just bugged the hell out. And that's ripe for destruction. Yep. Because, because as we continue on with the lesson, this is all just proving forth that this society is on the door on the way out man because these God. things that are happening are signs and indicators of a collapsing kingdom that's right <laughs> absolutely to the t mm -hmm. you know we'll play this clip and we're going we're going to play that uh Elon Musk video in one second i just wanted to listen to this real quick hold on <laughs> thank you very much can you say when you expect prices to get back to normal mr president I hope by the end of next year, we're much closer. But I can't make that prediction. I just convinced they're not going to go up. I'm convinced they're going to continue. <laughs> no solution. <laughs> that nigga see now, bro. man. That motherfucker threw. <laughs> they should have let that motherfucker in the bed, man. Right. There's no solution for this place, man. All right. There's no healing. There's no healing Babylon, man. Look at this. Okay. Inflation inflation is a tax on all Americans. Eggs are up 49%. Airlines, fares are up 36%. And also, there's news going out about the, um, because of these full, uh, fuel shortages, there's going to be travel uh, disruptions. So you mm -hmm. ain't going to be able to move as frequently as you like to. You know? Mm -hmm. Milk is up 14%. Electricity is up. Bills are high as hell, man. Beating yep. ads, right? Groceries are up. Chicken is up, gas is up, baby food is up, and this was December 13th, 2022. Right? Mm -hmm. So you can't get around this thing, man. It's a done deal. So anyway, let's play this clip. Let's get into this real quick and then uh, you know, we'll wrap it up. Just want to touch on some different points. All right, so this is kind of the, the latest thing that's been out there that's that's hitting the feed. All right, Neuralink Nightmare Elon Musk brain chip trials are a total horror show. All right, so let's uh Let's play and commentate, commentate off this real quick, all right? 
device company Neuralink is now facing a federal investigation over statements coming from internal staff indicating that the way animal trials were run within the company were cruel and certainly broke, according to their accusations, animal welfare laws. Now, the complaints allege that the animal testing that's being conducted has been rushed leading to needless suffering and deaths of said animals. Now, the federal probe, which- And like I said before, <laughs> we heard this story before as well with the juice, all right? Yeah. On how they rushed the, uh, you know, they rushed the trials. They weren't really for sure. And now look at the result of all of that shit, man. People are dropping dead all over the place, yeah. right? And, he, and he's being cruel to the animals, man. It's scripture to speak on that. You don't uh, supposed to be doing, you know, that's, that's wickedness that you're doing. To the Lord's creation, man. Come. It has not been previously reported, so this is the update to the story. Was opened in recent months by the United States Department of Agriculture's Inspector General at the request of a federal prosecutor, according to two sources with knowledge of the investigation. The probe, one of the sources said, focuses on violations of the Animal Welfare Act, which governs how researchers treat and test some animals. Now, Neuralink is a company that, look, it seeks to do something wonderful. So I wanna be fair and honest about that because the idea is implanting some sort of chip in the brain or of a paralyzed individual so they're able to communicate with the computer and be somewhat- That's a sales point. Yeah. That's the sales point right there. That's what he saw. You know, yeah. that's gonna be the yeah. cool, yeah, the cool way of saying this is why you should get this. Yeah, you know what I mean? You your loved ones could could see again, or your loved one paralyzed, he could walk again. You know, yeah. he, he's trying to become a he I, I think I just seen priests do a lesson on this. They trying to become God. Yeah. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's all they that's all they're doing, man. All right, quick priest out. You want to second Thessalonians? Yep, you already know. Okay. Start at uh start at verse uh four and read down. Okay. This is Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse four. It says, Who oppose and exalt himself above all that is called God, mm -hmm. or that is worship, so that he as God sitting in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Yeah, I did I just posted a video on his channel as well, going into uh to what's it called? Ecto Ecto Lab or something like that. Where they built the the world's first artificial um, birthing pods, right? Just like how oh, they showed yeah. it in the matrix. This That's man, he has the ability, you know, to to manipulate cells and create life. You know, this is him putting mm -hmm. himself in the position of the Most High. Go ahead. Hey, what, what was we talking about last week? The sleeves and shit. Yep. I, how he had them little sleeves things. Like if you he, you can up upload your consciousness and shit. Right. <laughs> this man, the demon man. And it says, uh, verse uh, verse 5, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 5. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. That's right. And now ye know that withhold of, that he might be revealed in his time. Yeah, that, 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 that this devil might be revealed in his time. The son of perdition. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, for the mystery of iniquity do already work. Only he who now will let us will let until he be taken out of the way. Right, so he has to fulfill that left hand side. Mm -hmm. All right, until it's time for him to be taken out of the way. Go ahead. Kind verse uh, verse eight. It says, "And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom Yahweh will shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and mm -hmm. shall destroy with the brightness of his coming." And that's happening. All right, he's yep. being revealed. At the time of his fall, he would be exposed as the wicked man. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's being done by the prophets of the Lord, the prophets of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Go ahead. Verse nine, it says, even him who's coming is after the workers of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Right. And this is what we this is what we're hearing in this video. All right. Dealing with this sea hip. OK, the ability to make a person who can't walk, walk again, a blind man see. These are all those signs and lying wonders, because as it's being pushed and marketed as something beneficial for society at the end is all about what tapping into your spirit and controlling you. That's the snare. That's the snare of it all. You know, why is being presented as new and uh, innovative? You know, this is what we this is how society is upgrading all of that. The mist, the, 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 the trap behind it is what to, to ensnare your soul, man. 
Yep. So let's play some more of the video. That's it on that. Op. Okay. I had a uh, good precept, if I may. Go ahead, bro. Uh, Sirach chapter 13 and verse 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. And look what he saith, they extol it to the clouds. And that's what they're doing with this dude, Elon Musk. You know, nobody is really, you know, questioning, you know, the intent behind this mad scientist endeavor. You know, like as uh, the brother Mahar has said, you know, they're pushing it out there on this on this wave of making it seem cool and a way to pretty much restore you back to, you know, normalcy. You know, how you once wore before you may have gotten, you know, certain injuries that affected you for you no know, permanent reasons, you know, uh, or maybe you just want to be, you know, linked in with the technology to be, you know, a smarter person. Whatever reason they presenting at the end of the day. You know, it's not really what it is, but based uh, upon the fact that it's coming from a man that's wealthy and he's of a quote unquote high stature, you know, a lot of people are leaning into this idea more than ever. Exactly. Right. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. And, you know, that could be likened unto us because here it is. We're speaking out against this. But people are looking at us as, you know, opposition, you know? Right. I mean, like, who are you? You don't even understand how this works and whatnot. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Exactly. But ultimately, what's gonna come to what's gonna come to pass is as we've seen with these people that went down to uh Egypt and they bought into the, the Jabberwocky package, <laughs> right? right? They're gonna be the same ones that are gonna run down and get that sea hip. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. I got to get that scripture before we play on. It's Isaiah 30. It's Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit. All right, because that covering is a false covering. Yeah. Right. You trust, you trust in the system, the government. You believe what Esau says, the president, the Congress. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a false covering. Right. It says that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. See. Verse two, it says that walk down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in, in the strength of Pharaoh. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt, man. All right. This system of Egypt, our people wholeheartedly believe in it. You know. That basically this this uh mm -hmm. this system has Jake's best interests at heart. Our people genuinely believe that, right? Verse three. That's why scripture say our people trust in a nation that could not save them. Save them. Right? Yep. Isaiah thirty and three. Therefore, should the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow your confusion? Right? You got it. I tell you want to speak. Uh, that's going to be the shame of that confusion, man, because a lot of these people, you know, as brothers did a lesson weeks back, you know, it's new reports that's coming out as, you know, Akiem, you know, the elders and apostles and bishops all the way down have, you know, told our people, no, you don't need to go ahead and take that that package. You don't right. need to go ahead and take that juice. Now we're starting to see the fruit of what came about from walking down and trusting in Egypt. The majority of the people that are dying from the C-19 were the people that got juiced in. You know? right. And right. it's going to be the same trend that occurs when people go ahead and take that 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 um that karagma, the karagma, and they get that grievous sore and ultimately put them catapult themselves into uh being fit for revelations 14 and 9 through 10. Yeah, you see? Death. Yeah, yeah, second death, and they're gonna be completely confused, like damn. I thought I was trying to get a one up on society. No, <laughs> you put yourself right. into a into a position to where you fit for death. Right. A worse position. That's right. Hey, we, we are not to be ignorant in anything, either a small matter or a great matter, man. Roughly paraphrasing. That's right. That's right. So there's no it's excuse, there's no excuse, Jake. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's mm -hmm. go back to the video and put some more. You have some ties them up. Uh, uh, real brief, just real brief. Uh, back in, it was, it's backing you up. Just Isaiah 36 and 6. Lo, lo thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, wherein if a man if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. 
And that's what you're seeing like the brothers is going to. You went down to Egypt and you trusted in this system. And this system is gradually been uh, falling right before your eyes, man. It's circling the drain. Yep. And it's literally yep. through the spirit is going to pierce you too. But that's not what it's speaking about. But it's literally going to uh, it's gonna pierce you in the long run. <laughs> exactly. Bite you in the ass in the long run. Yep. basically somewhat free to function on their own, right? So it, they're looking to, to accomplish something really great. But obviously there are laws and regulations in place for a reason to protect animal welfare, to ensure that these trials aren't rushed, to ensure that certain protocols are met. And based on what the internal staff has been alleging, those protocols were not met and there was a lot of pressure to rush through these trials, which led to, according to them, unnecessary deaths of countless, I don't want to say countless, 1,500, possibly more animals. Yeah, you know it's more than that, man. So they rushed yeah. through these trials. This, this nigga was putting devices in, in their brains, right? And the animals ended up dying, mm -hmm. you know? And you want this shit to be put in your body? <laughs> right? Yeah, you going to let this nigga put this in your body, man? Yeah. They, they, hey, that's exactly yeah. They had to rush the trial because this devil knows that his time is short, man. They got to yep. get these things pushed out, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we read it earlier. The Lord sped the times up for the elect's sake, man. Mm -hmm. Esau knows that this is the end of his kingdom, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the specific complaints uh, come from more than 20 former and current employees at Neuralink. In all, the company has killed about 1,500 animals, including more than 280 sheep, pigs, and monkeys following experiments since 2018, according to records reviewed by Reuters and sources with direct knowledge of the company's animal testing operations. And I wanna say this too, the movie Implanted, right? In that movie, they showed you people signed up to get the, uh, the C-hip put in their body, and what happened? Goddamn Siri took over their brain, bro. Like yep. Siri had full control over their body. The uh yep. the the AI, the artificial intelligence that was embedded in them, it, it took them over. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. That was the whole point of them getting them uh them them uh getting upgraded a couple years ago. <laughs> and the dude said, come get upgraded, get your your upgrades, because that because them nanobots is gonna uh is gonna actually help. And enhance that technology to the people that got the sea hip, man. Yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be under you're gonna be controlled basically by a demon, mm -hmm. right? Hey, Apostle Gabar would bring out that word uh, demon. Doesn't it go back to intelligence? Yep. Intelligence. What is this technology called? Artificial intelligence. Yep. You see, think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you also had um, Elon Musk outright say that you know. Those AIs is actual like demons. Yeah, he said that yeah. shit. You know, <laughs> hey, hey, he hey, said, "Look it up, nigga. It's a quote." <laughs> he, he said they were sent. Uh, he said they were sentient or something like that, meaning they were aware, they had consciousness, they could think on their own. Yeah, you know, and, and they make fucking movies about this shit. Our robot was grace gradually telling you what the hell he was about to do when they made Our Robot with Real Smith a long time ago. Come on, they was man. telling you. Esau Ben had this technology. It's just it's the, he deal with gradualism. He gradually pushes this out, man. But he tried to put it like it's such a a, a good thing and an innovative, the what the new the new the new wave and shit like that. Right. Especially he gonna use you nigga. He gonna use these niggas to help push this shit because you know Jake makes shit look look uh, look cool and shit. So he's gonna start uh -huh. using these celebrities and make this shit look all cool and fashionable. Cause you got your smart watches that that tell you how much you weigh and and monitor right. your heartbeat and your sleep patterns and shit. Well, that's he that well that's nothing but a a baby step for him because he wants to get it inside of you, man. Exactly. <laughs> so Reuters did a pretty good investigation into this themselves. They looked at the documents, they interviewed dozens of individuals who either had worked at Neuralink or currently work at Neuralink. And here's what they found. They identified four experiments involving 86 pigs and two monkeys that were marred in recent years by human errors. The mistakes weakened the experiment's research value and required the test be repeated leading to more animals being killed, three of the current and former staffers said. 
The three people attributed the mistakes to a lack of preparation by a testing staff working in a pressure cooker environment. And the pressure cooker environment is a comment or statement that you see repeated over and over again by the employees, by the staff. That you know there are certain methods in place that you should follow to prevent unnecessary deaths of the animals that are you know being used in these trials. And there's this, this constant pressure to rush, 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 get it done, get it done, get it done, be more hardcore. You see, they got to rush. They got to rush. He thought he got he to speed this thing up. You know, yeah. this is all spiritual, right? Quick precept, Job 13 and 4, but you are forges of lies. You are all physicians of no value. You see that? This man is a physician of no value, all right? Yeah. All this death, animals dying, the trial and error, you know? Esau is a complete devil, man. He's a demon. You know? He's a demon, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. And you trust this man to put this uh this this device in you, you know? I'm fucking idiots. I got one for you. I got well, one for you, Cap. You got one? Go ahead. Kind. This is second Corinthians. We'll play, we'll, play a little bit more. we'll play a little bit more rapid. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, we just want to make a few points there. It's a lot of things happening, you know? Mm -hmm. Kind. This is uh this for you, Cap. This is second Corinthians chapter eleven, verse 14. And it says, and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is technology. Yeah. Yeah, it's technology, man. You know, he 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 presents himself as he's really a righteous man. He's trying to uh, benefit humanity. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how he comes. You know, mm -hmm. Satan is transformed himself in, into an angel of light, man. Even going yeah. into these false prophets, the vocab alone. Yeah. All right. These devils are against the scriptures, right? But they present themselves as, as as righteous men, but really they're in opposition of the of, of the true word. Yep. You know. Mm -hmm. Verse fifteen. It says, "Therefore, it is no greater thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works." Mm -hmm. This man. This man is wicked. All right, and Elon Musk. Elon Musty and, 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 and Kill Gates, them niggas are nothing but just low uh, low level witches under the elites, you know? Yep. They're the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're the um, warlocks. They're the, war, they're, the, they're the face of this thing, man. Yeah, yeah, kind. Foot soldiers. You know? Foot soldiers. Mm -hmm. All right. They, they all do the bidding of the elite. See? Mm -hmm which then leads to these animals needlessly dying. And then they have to do the trial again. I mean, which by the way, takes up more time. It's just so stupid and insanely cruel to the animals, of course. Now the sources characterized that figure as a rough estimate, the 1500 figure as a rough estimate, because the company actually does not keep precise records on the number of animals uh, tested and killed. Um, there are other animals like rats and mice that are not included at all. Uh, so just something to keep in mind, a caveat that I think is important. Now, one employee in messages seen by Reuters wrote an angry missive this year to colleagues about the need to overall overhaul how the company organizes animal surgeries um, to prevent hack jobs. The rush schedule, the employee wrote, resulted in underprepared and overstressed staffers scrambling to meet deadlines and making last minute changes before surgeries, uh, which of course, that raises risks to the animals. And I think the risks uh, were carried out with the insane number of animals that died during these clinical trials. The mistakes leading to unnecessary animal deaths included one instance in 2021, when 25 out of 60 pigs in a study had devices that were the wrong size implanted in their heads, an error that could have been avoided with more preparation. So what, what is this really about, okay? Do I think that there's this intentional effort by employees and leadership at Neuralink to be cruel to animals, to kill animals? No, I don't think that's what, what, what's driving this. What's driving this is what drives a lot of the problems that we see in society today. Money. The profit motive behind it, Absolutely. the competition behind it. And in the communications that Elon Musk, the CEO- That's the spirit, but I didn't want to speak too prematurely, right? Cause I was just, just you know, through a spiritual eye, paying attention to what's going on. Right. 
Elon Musk, he's money, right? Right. Like that's what he do. He he's big money oriented. That's what he do. He got the bread. Right. He is kind of like on that Trump shit, going against what what they got, right? But at the same time, I see I see what he's doing. He trying to he trying to pretty much invest in his own chip. So motherfuckers just take his chip. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like he, he, I see what I see what they're doing through the spirit. I don't want to speak too prematurely, but right, right. kind of said the same mm-hmm. thing. Like, the prophet, you know. Right, what right. I mean? And that's what's going on. He he battling against the whether you're on the left or the right, he battling against one of them sides over the money. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and, and that's how it's that's how it's panning out. Now that's why you got uh the news broadcaster talking against them, right? Because we know who controls that. Right, right. Right. on the other side right right he but, played both sides yeah but elon musk yep. got bread right so with bread come power so he got some kind of leverage right so that's all they're doing i said i see what they're doing yeah it's all yeah, spiritual it's all spiritual right yeah but you say you had some ties up oh no 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 the brother the brother's on point man that's how you know these are the edomites in the in the uh in the last days same thing that was happening to the greek empire the roman empire the uh the fall of uh so-called britain with all of them coming and fighting amongst each other these edomites have been doing this for centuries man they fight yeah. they fight amongst each other man they are uh, they're greed it's all about greed and covetous man yeah in-house fighting and shit mm-hmm. you yeah. know fighting with your brother and shit in right. house. you know what i mean that's what they're doing all over power and control yeah. Mm-hmm. I want the big room. The CEO of Neuralink has had with the staff. It's abundantly clear that he's concerned that he's not going to beat the competition. And they got to go. They got to go. They got to go. You got to get it out there. You got to. We want to move on to the next phase of trials. We got to start doing the trials on humans. See? That's yeah, not going to trial on humans. So you can, you can take this shit if you want to and see what's yeah. going to happen, man. That's why we're telling Jake, do not put this shit in your body, man. Mm-hmm. All right? The scriptures tell you. Never trust thy enemy. It's written for a reason. Okay? Animals are dying. This stuff is causing uh, cancer in, t- in, in animals and shit, man. All right? Radiation. Radiation, man. Hey, Jake, you, Jake is going to learn one way or another, man. You know? Mm-hmm. You, you better take heed to these prophecies, Jake. Yep. You know, I got one scripture and we can uh, we can wrap. That's pretty much the point. I want to get the main points there in that video because it's a heavy video. It's about 11 minutes long. You can go back and watch it on your own. Okay. All right. I want to bring out this scripture real quick. All right. This is Habakkuk 2 and 5. It's the characteristics, the spirit of Esau. Habakkuk 2 and 5, it says, Yea, also because he transgressed by wine, all right, his different philosophies, mm-hmm. all right, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarges his desire as hell and as his death, all right? Everything about this man is hell and death, destruction, oppression, right? It says, it cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people, all right? And it's spiritual because we're in a time where these devils are really pushing this, this one world order, all right? Trying to bring all people together to be one nation, this whole uh, NWO spirit that's out here, man. That uh, that Tower of Babel spirit, Nimrod, man. Yep. You know. Your brother got anything else, man? Nah, but just hey, you, you you said it, bro. That's this is exactly the same uh, shit that they've been trying to do for centuries, man. But they uh-huh. they they feel like they're gonna fulfill their their ultimate goal here in these last days, man. But hey, they about to get they they get set up for the uh, the ultimate snare, which is Yahweh Shah. Yeah, how was He's he he's the he's playing them right to the chess move, man. He's so, doing this for the elect's sake, man. He, he's forcing that, like you said, what what that she kept saying, time, time, time. That's all you kept hearing. Why? Because the Most High is forcing Esau's hand, man. He knows right. his time is short, man. He's seeing all these the men of the Lord, even with these other camps, that's still pushing the vibration of Israel. So he's still he's seeing he's seeing the Israel are waking up on his streets, man. And he can't do nothing about it, man. So he knows his time is short, man. That's it. That's it. We'll end it off with this. This is Job chapter 5, verse 12. And it reads, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands could not perform their enterprise. You see? Mm. So at the end of the day, this new world order, you know, all the plans of the wicked elite are going to be crushed. They're going to be stopped. All right? The Lord, the scripture said that the Lord is going to break the scepter of the wicked, man. That's the right. rulers of the wicked. You know? So, hey, 
you know, that's it. Y'all boys got anything else? You know? Okay. That's it. That's it, man. So we pray that this lesson was edifying to all you sincere believers out there in the spirit of Yahweh Hashim Shai, news and prophecy, you know? Many things are happening around the earth. Take heed. And uh, 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 Shima Washai is on his way back. All right. We'll close it out by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Hey, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us his truth. And double salutations to all you Akim out there laboring, the house of David, the elect that's pushing this word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. Shalom. 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 That's right. That's right. Hey, Thawada, that was dope.